Welcome again to a quick tutorial video. Today we'll be overclocking Intel HD graphics, any version for that matter. So all you need is Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, or you can simply Google it out. After installing the program, run the program. You will see a lot of details about your system ranging from this system gra temperature graph, the package temperature, CPU temperature, maximum core frequency of your CPU and this right side you'll see a default values and proposed values. Defaults are the presets and proposed are the ones that we have changed. So on the left side go to graphics. Under that look for an option processor graphics ratio limit. This is what we'll be using to change the frequency of our GPU. As you can see, my default value here was 10.500x. And now, now my proposed value is about 6.5x. So just for reference, I've turned it below. So I'll be increasing it step by step. After changing that value, click apply. Now after doing that, to, we need to check that whether our system is stable or not. For that, go to stress test below that bar and run a graphic stress test. If this test completes successfully, that means your settings are stable. I'll be stopping it for now because mine are stable. In the graphics tab, if for some reason this option is not available in your machine, that means it is disabled in your BIOS by our manufacturer and th there is no way to enable this option. So you will have to look for modified version of BIOS for your machine if that's possible. So, in any way. Now I'll be overclocking mine from 10.5 to say 11.5 maybe. Yes, do not click apply. Then we'll be checking the stress test to see whether these settings are stable or not. The performance difference that you'll notice after applying these settings is very minimal. You'll hardly see a difference of 1 to 3 FPS at max. So is there any reason to overclock your Intel graphics? Mm, if you are behind those extra 2-3 FPS, then obviously you'll get a better frame rate overall but I won't recommend it personally so that's it about overclocking just make sure that you don't mess around with the voltage of your graphics card it would seriously rise the temperatures I've stopped my stress tests because I know they are stable already tested but don't you Try to mess with your voltage. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys.